Hey, my beautiful people. It's your boy, Kelton Gresham, your favorite photographer, coming to you today with words of wisdom and encouragement for pastors and ministers of the word. Hear this clarion call echoing through the chambers of heaven and resonating in your hearts and in the hearts of your flock. The scriptures remind us that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? You are called to walk in the light of the Lord, to be beacons of his love, mercy, and his strength. Embrace the power bestowed upon you. For as 2 Timothy 1 and 7 declares, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Reverend Yates, your journey is intertwined with the destinies of countless other people. Your pain is connected to someone else's release from their pain. And I personally am one of those people. For every trial that you face in public becomes a testament to the triumph of the human spirit and the boundless power of God. Walk boldly in your calling. Preach with the conviction that shakes the foundations of doubt. For as it is written in 1 Corinthians 2 and 4, my message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power. Embrace the tools that God has placed in your hands, for in them lies the transformative power of His Word. And as you stand in the pulpit, remember that your pain, Reverend Yates, is not in vain. It is a beacon of hope for thousands seeking liberation from their own struggles. So pastors, walk in power, preach with power, and let the light of the Lord guide your every step. For in your empowerment, others find strength. In your proclamation, others find hope. And in your pain, Reverend Yates, others find release. May the power of the Almighty infuse your ministry today and always. And let's not forget, make sure you go out there and love somebody today. Make sure you're loving yourself. I love you. And amen.